They used a lighter to heat up a needle, then put it under my fingernails. The worst was when they put a plastic bag over my head and suffocated me, and when they held the muzzle of a Kalashnikov rifle to my head and forced me to answer their questions. It was like a small Guantanamo. I was told if it wasn't for my second passport I'd be killed. I don't know how much of that was to influence and scare me, or how much it was real. Currently, the SBU is rounding up anyone accused of sympathy for Russia. So anyone who speaks Russian, anyone who uh, um, is, is thought to be um, in support of the uh, Russian offensive inside Ukraine um, is likely to be put into this torture prison and interrogated and beaten. My investigation contains testimony from two men who were tortured inside uh, the SBU headquarters and a sports complex or gym attached to it. And they gave me accounts of um, extreme torture, beatings, um, where, where prisoners were bleeding from their mouths. Um, one man had uh, hot needles stuck under his fingernails. Um, he said that there were two men from Belarusia who were tortured to death. Um, so it's clear and it's been documented not only by myself, but by Amnesty International and the United Nations that the Ukrainian security service, the SBU, uh, tortures prisoners.